I got a new light, so I'm gonna give you guys a crash course in how I evaluate light. Uh, Sansi sent me one of their new tri-directional bulbs, which is pretty sweet. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through the process. First thing, full sun, like unobstructed outside, is 10,000 foot candles or roughly 2,200 par or PPFD. Uh, you would think that inside in a place like mine, having south facing windows would mean that it's constantly always bright in here but even like where i'm standing right now in proximity to a south facing window i only get about 7.5 ppfd and that like sounds wrong it's not it's not until i get about six inches up to the window that it actually goes up to about 15 percent filtered sun and that's because of the angle of the sun the way the windows are like the quality of the window if you're growing something like a phalaenopsis and you can't get it to bloom sometimes it's just a matter of getting the amount the right amount of light if the measurement is less than one percent they're not going to flower they're not going to have energy on their leaves to be able to bloom and for some of my like higher light phalaenopsis like these guys i'm growing them closer to like 15 percent sunlight Let's take a look at the Sansi light and see how that measures. All right, first, if I'm going to take like a reasonable reading, I got to turn the other lights off and then take an actual reading without any light. And then next, I'm going to take a reading with one light at a time. So what do those numbers mean? If we take a look at the single LED, uh, it's about 450 foot candles, which is pretty good. It's about 4.5% filtered sun, which is good for a lot of, you know, tropicals and, and phalaenopsis, puffy petalums, your general types of plants. Two of the lights puts you to about 650 foot candles. Still really good, reasonable, puts you into a higher range, but isn't going to cause burn or any issues like that. And then three lights is going to put you up to about 750 foot candles. I would probably recommend this to a friend or someone who does, doesn't want to mess around with light and doesn't understand the complexities of it because they could put it on a plant that's on a table, keep, keep the light about two to three feet away, and it would supplement the light that's available. Also really impressed with the spectrum. A lot of lights that I see these days are more focused in the blue spectrum, which can cause chlorosis and some issues with the leaves being too intense because it tends to like not balance out as well. Overall, I think it's pretty good light. The only thing, only complaint that I might have is that the clamp trying to get this thing attached, the light is quite heavy and the clamp didn't like hold as well. So that's probably my only like feedback on, on what it is. Anyways, hope that was good. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or whatever, put it all down below. Thanks guys, bye.